Hi guys, it's Naja here. Um, I wanted to give you guys a tour of my salon suite. I have a salon suite space here in Deptford, New Jersey, um, inside of the Phoenix Salon Suite building. And I have a 110 square foot salon suite here um, in this building, which is the smallest suite available in this building. But I think because it has such high ceilings, and um you know the space is kind of airy and bright it doesn't really feel as small as it sounds when you hear 110 square feet it's just enough space for me and my clients i usually only well i only service one client at a time so 110 square feet was perfect for me so i'll show you around and show you how i'm utilizing some of my space i'm still in the process of kind of decorating i've really only been here for about Okay, so here's the front of my door. Um, this I actually made on my Cricut at home. So um, yeah, I love to Cricut. I do want to make it in the future. I'll probably make it just a smidge bigger just so it's a little bit wider. But that'll be good for now. DIY on my Cricut. Oh, and um, we keep our business cards outside of our salon suites. So if you ever have an appointment with any other beauty professional, you can kind of take a tour and walk around and grab other people's um, business cards if you want to make appointments with other beauty professionals here in the building. So here it is my space. Close my door. All right, so when you first walk in, here's the inside of my door. We have our thermometer um, where we control our temperatures. And then this is what I loved about this space. So we can actually dim our lights. So let me show you guys. So we can control and dim our own lights and then turn it up. And I love this because I turn my lights out whenever I'm given a deluxe spa treatment. So um, I dim the lights, I put on spa music. So it's really nice for a really deluxe um, shampoo. Now this chair here, I actually, this is an Ashley chair. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is an Ashley chair, but I actually got it off of Amazon because I am way too impatient to be waiting for shipping. Amazon's got us spoiled. So I ordered this off of Anna, Amazon, but it's an Ashley chair. Very sturdy, holds a good amount of weight. And then, um, oh, I messed up my pillow. Home, let me fix this. I got this pillow from... Um, Hobby Lobby on sale. You know how Hobby Lobby is. You got to just wait until it goes on sale and get it then. And I also got those, um, I don't think, this isn't pumpus grass. I think that's wheat or, um, don't quote me. I don't know what that is, but I got that from Hobby Lobby. And then my frames up there, we have to have all of these, you know, our licenses, of course, and um, our notice and all that. We have to have that. And our um, pricing according to state board so I got the frames from Dollar Tree and then moving on to my curtains my husband hung those curtains for me I wanted them as high as possible I kind of do now regret I wish I would have got them all the way to the top but I think they're perfect the rod as well as the curtains are from Ikea so they go all the way down. I wanted them to go all the way down. I have to steam that a little bit. That got I don't know how they got wrinkled, but yeah. So I'm able to close my curtains. Let me show you. So I'm able to close my curtains for more privacy like that. So that's really nice for when I'm working with someone who has hair loss or anything like that. Even though you can kind of see through a smidge, like see how you can see the exit sign, you really can't see in that much. Like you can see shadows, but you really can't see who I'm servicing. So I really like that, um, the curtains. All right, so moving right along, I got these door hooks um, from Amazon. <clears throat> and whatever I can find, if, I, if I'm able to find it, I'll link it down below. Some of this stuff that I'm naming off, I might be wrong about where I got it from. So if so, I'll correct it down below in the description. But yeah, I got know I got these off of Amazon. They're like a matte black, which I like because then they tied in and match it matched with my mirror. <clears throat> so let me show you my mirror. I got this mirror. Now, crazy enough, it, it's picking up smaller than it is on camera. 
is actually bigger in person. This is 50 inches this way. Um, so if you have a 50 inch TV, then that just gives you an idea of how big this is, just picking up smaller on camera. But um, this is from Wayfair. <clears throat> my shelf is from Amazon. <clears throat> Excuse me, my allergies are acting up. And then I got this tray, which I usually put my um, herbal oils that I have for sale, but I only have two in stock right now. Um, I got this tray from Target. Yep, so that's from Target. And then this, I love this piece right here. This, um, these, it has like this texture to it. So pretty. And I believe, oh yeah. Oh, you know what? It doesn't show me where I got it from, but it does show me <laughs> that it was $16.99. I tend to keep the stickers on stuff if I can, just so I can remember where I got stuff from. But yeah, this was probably either from like Burlington or like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something like that. But TJ Maxx usually says TJ Maxx, so that's why I'm thinking it must have been Burlington. But yeah, so I got that from there years ago. And then the pompous grass that I have in here, I actually got that at a park in my neighborhood. So <laughs> that was free. And then moving on, all, on along over here, let me see if I can show you guys over here. So my chair is so old. Oh my gosh, I don't even wanna show you on my chair, but yeah, my chair is so old. I got that from Amazon as well. It's nothing really special, but um, okay. So this, um, it's like a trolley basically. It wheels around, you can move it around because it's on wheels. And it has this drawer here and then this soft closed cabinet, which I put like a little, um, a spinning thing to organize my stuff in. I, I do want to do a little more organization than this. This is really isn't organized, but um, it'll do, it does its job for now. This actually came with the salon suite space. So it matches the cabinet, which I'll show you over there. And then I just changed out the hardware. Got these from either Lowe's or Home Depot. I can't remember which one, but I know it was one of those, either Lowe's or Home Depot. And I have matching ones on my cabinet as well. <clears throat> okay, so moving along to this wall here, this sign, I got this off of Etsy. Eventually, I do kind of want to make it just a smidge bigger. I made a mistake with my measurements, but it'll do for now. It works. Um, so yeah, it's just a very lightweight wood sign. And so it's very lightweight, so you can put it up with just these little sticky tabs. And then moving along here, of course, I have my Ikea Mom, it's called. I had that for years and years um, at home. So I brought it in here because it has a ton of storage. This mirror is from Hobby Lobby. And then this cute little lady here, my, um, it's an aloe plant. My friend Jahida got me that when I moved in here. It was so sweet of her. So my drawers, like I said, they're not the most organized, but I have this here just for some storage, just for some extra bobby pins, curling iron kit in the back. I'm gonna keep my brushes here with my Barbicide barber spray or spray disinfectant rubber bands, some miscellaneous stuff in there. And then this drawer is for my shipping. It's an organized mess. <laughs> so I have my wig um, bags in here. This is for when people pick up in person. And then I have extra, <clears throat> extra hair in this one and some business cards and tissue paper in there. The bottom is where I keep my um, <clears throat> mannequin heads. So I have some space where I can put like two more mannequin heads. I put that in there. And then this one is a whole hot mess. This one's my personal one where I have everything you can imagine, everything you need. My wrist, um, sometimes I have like tingling in my hands. So I have to wear my little wrist um, thing here. Of course, a first aid kit some just stuff to freshen up with extra sugar my snacks this is just like basically my personal junk drawer 
So this area over here is a little bit of an eyesore, to be honest with you. Um, I keep my laundry in there. Trash, of course, is there. My broom and my Swiffer. I want to figure out a way where I can hide my Swiffer and my um, broom. And the one thing that I was thinking I could possibly, I could do is I could maybe in the future put legs on this Ikea dresser. And then I can slide my Swiffer and my um, broom and stuff underneath of there to hide that. But yeah, so that's a little bit of an eyesore. I also need to get an extension cord, a longer one, so that I can hide put my diffuser it's not long enough to hide behind that basket so yeah that's a little bit of an eyesore to me and then I keep my most used shampoos and conditioners in here I have these wigs I actually well this hair and there's wigs inside of here that I need to work on this week so that's why I just store that over there in the corner and then in here, I do need to work on getting some storage for inside of here. But for now, I just keep my capes over here. I put, I keep Q-tips because if you take a half a Q-tip, there's a little trick that I learned off of Amazon. So I got my steamer from Amazon, by the way. And um, if you put some peppermint or any kind of like essential oil on this Q-tip, I saw this in one of the review comments. And then you just put it in here as you're steaming that steam when the essential oils just comes out and it's amazing so yeah that's why i keep some extra q-tips in there you just have to cut it in half i my capes shampoos and conditioners extra tissues and i need to re-up on my towels they actually provide towels here in the phoenix salon suite building so um yeah i need to go and get some more towels for the day but yeah and then I keep my little lady up there. Eventually, I'm going to be getting um, shelving to go here. Probably like three or four shelves to go straight across. That way I can start building up my mannequin collection and start keeping them over there. And then um, my husband's friend was so sweet. He gave me a TV that we're thinking about mounting on this wall. It's a big screen TV. And more than likely, I'll probably put like promotional stuff some days, but probably more than likely it'll be like a lot of like artwork on the screen. So I'm going to put that there instead of it being like just artwork. So I was thinking about just getting a big, huge picture artwork to put there. But now since he got me the TV, I might just put the artwork on the TV instead. And then I have more mannequins over here which those like of course once i get my shelves this will be lifted off the floor and i'll put um mannequins up on the shelves and then lastly here's my little area where people can come and just get a complimentary drink they can make some tea in my electric um tea kettle i got this off of amazon this shelf shelf this drawer it's also Amazon. I have all my teas, my honey, honey sticks here. And then there's um, stirs. This is like just the cup wraps and some extra sugar. This container here, I have some tops in here for the cups. This is from Ikea. This is from Target. It came in a two pack. Can I just keep extra sugar in there? This is from Amazon, the French press. And this is from Target. This is where I keep my cups because I wanted an um, airtight container for my cups so that hair, because hair blows everywhere in here. So I wanted to make sure there wasn't going to be hair on people's cups when they get coffee and tea. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope I didn't miss anything. I also forgot to mention um, another thing as far as storage goes. I originally wanted a chair that was like a swivel chair um, where it didn't have any underneath storage. But then I thought about it. And the reason why I picked this up is because it has the underneath little area. And I'm able, I was able to put my, I have this huge travel, like, it's not a suitcase. I got this years ago from Hobby Lobby. And I keep my sewing machine in this. So I'm able to put that underneath it there and just kind of like keep it out of the way. 
And then under there, I have just some extra storage there and a huge thing of wipes. Um, and then also real quick, I just wanted to show you what I wanted to do here in the future. Over here on the mirror, eventually I'm going to get some words, um, probably either in matte or like a matte black or like a gold. And I don't, I just don't know what I wanted to say yet, but I want something to go alongside here just to kind of curve around the curvature of the mirror. And I want some type of short phrase or words to go over there. So if you guys have any ideas on what I should get over there, what it should say, just let me know. All right, y'all, that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. If I miss anything, please let me know down in the comments below. If maybe I like missed something in my tour that you want to link to or anything like that. Um, but yeah, see you in the next video. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.